Today's video has all of your favorite components, some extreme toenail cleaning, shaping of thick toenails, and a satisfying transformation. So stay tuned. Right after that, I was like, oh my God, because I have so many pairs that do not cut right at all. That, um... All right, straighten it all the way out. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe and turn on your notifications in case you are chosen as the winner in the random comment game. started like two days ago, and now it's just terrible looking. I don't know what the heck happened to me. Yeah. I'm getting older. <laughs> yeah, you got a little bit of nail fungus. That's what this is. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And some sock fuzz, but yeah. yeah. No, it, it's, it's hard for me to get down there and do it, you know? Yeah, the taller you are, the further you have to really reach. Yes, it's really hard. The older I get, the harder it gets. How old are you? I am 46. Okay. Are you on your feet a lot? Yeah. yeah. What do you do? And I, 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 my brother and I own a, uh, an automotive manufacturing company. We make uh, garter springs for oil seals that go inside of cars. Okay. And uh, yeah, we're on a, we're, I, work, I work on the shop floor most of the time when we're busy and uh, we're You machines. can bend your knee? Okay. And uh, yeah, I'm on my feet a lot. And I didn't realize that it was really crammed in there. Well, we'll fix them up today. Yeah, I know. You, I, I can't believe some of the things you've done with people's feet. I can't, like, I didn't realize how many videos I had on my channels yeah, already. Yeah, yeah, and. If there's like 300. Yeah, wow. I'm like, holy cow. <laughs> now, does your girlfriend ever do your toenails for you? No, no. I never asked her to do anything. It's only been the last couple of years they've gotten kind of ugly. It used to be pretty good. Except for that one, the one toe that's longer than my big toe there, that one started looking bad, and um, you know, and after that, it just kind of went downhill from there. It's embarrassing. It happens. Once I come to see you, then I can start to come regular, right? And keep them, keep them in shape, right? Yep, so you can. That's what I want to do. You just have to book ahead. Yeah, for sure. Did you guys get more snow than us in Brighton? Um, maybe a little bit. I'm hoping for more because I'm, I'm in your snowmobile. Do you? Yeah, yeah, and I'm hoping to ride. The trouble is I need somebody to go with me. And it's time to thin out this I nail. I always ball. use the nail mycosis solution to so prevent the dust from flying <clears> up <throat> into the air. So what is that? That is the nail mycosis solution because I'm going to okay. file your nails and I just okay. don't want the dust flying all over okay. the place. Right on. Nice tool. I have a Dremel. <laughs> I tried doing my own with my Dremel tool, and it's not as nowhere as, as precision as that. I messed them up. I knew, it. I knew what I was doing. I was messing them up. But I just wanted to thin them out so it wouldn't be in pain anymore. Yeah, the Dremels are just so powerful. Yeah, they're too powerful. Even the smallest one, this one I have, is just so yeah. powerful. Yeah. That one there, you guys, really nice. Control. Yeah, we can control the speed. Right. Yeah, <laughs> it's for it, too, exactly. Yeah. We've got a really 
you're getting touched because I'm ticklish and I'm not feeling Oh, good. Feeling really good job. And my mom, when I was a little boy, my mom used to try to do it, but I remember just, just having fits because she tickled me. You're like, no! If the skin is extremely calloused, it's okay to use the ceramic cone bit on that area, but most of the time you do want to use a diamond grit bit. I realize I get a lot of new people to my channel and some of you are still wondering why I am not wearing gloves. No, I am not going to catch nail fungus from filing a toenail with nail fungus. Nail fungus needs a very specific environment in order to grow. It has to have a warm, dark, moist environment. So as soon as I go and wash my hands, there's absolutely no chance I'm going to get nail fungus on my hands as I have been doing this for 25 years and I have never had a problem after working on someone's feet with no gloves. Some people think you wouldn't be able to do this without gloves and that is great, but it does not bother me to touch people without gloves on. Have you been in this building for a long time? Yeah, almost 18 years. Oh, well. No. <laughs> right. We opened in 2002. Yeah. You got enough room here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What are the uh, dots on the map? Those are all of the places that people have traveled from around the United States to oh. see me. Oh, oh, really? Wow. Yeah. That's cool. I thought you were going to say you had many other salons to own or something. No. Mm -hmm. Just this one? Yeah, we were going to open another salon back yeah. in 2008 mm -hmm. when the economy went bad. Yeah. Um, but the person who was building the development just stole our money. Oh, come on. That's they, yeah, told us they went out of business. Yeah. Well, we're not supposed to tell you this, mm -hmm. but we've represented him before and he doesn't pay his bills. Right. But he's been in court being sued by about 32 other people. And he knows how the system works. Yeah, right. Ties it up forever. Ties it up for forever. Yeah. And she said, and even if you did sue him and won, all of the people who invested money into the development would get paid if the, if the piece of land ever sold, they would get paid first. Well, so now it's 2020 and this was in 2008, yeah. the piece of property is still for sale. Oh my God. Wow. Well, I don't know if he is or not. <laughs> yeah, but he is. Yeah. yeah, my brother had a house. He was building a house in a nice subdivision in Brighton. And his developer comes up with this story. My dad was still alive at the time, and my dad was helping him, you know, finance his house and stuff. And um, <clears throat> this guy that was his builder comes to my dad with this story. Oh, Jerry, I'm, I'm going through a divorce. And I've never had to do this before, but I need to ask you for some for the money up front so I can buy the materials for your, for your son's house. And I tell my dad, do not do this, do not do this. You need to stop now. You need to just you know, put everything, you need to stop now. If you can't go on any further, 
you just stop and just and get a different you builder. Get, yeah, you gotta get a different builder and you can go a different route. And my dad was a fool, just guy talked him into it, and uh, my dad gave him money up front, and the guy took off. He left town? No, well, he just took off. His, my dad couldn't find him again. He just took off. Yep. He didn't know how to find anything. You know, but. And my dad isn't one to, he wasn't one to go to attorneys and stuff. He just get real frustrated and talk about it over and over. And, you're not going to do anything about it. You need to just let it go. Yeah. But it was, I think he gave me kind of $100,000. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was awful. Yeah, we only lost, like, $7,000. Oh, okay. We're lucky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this guy really took me down. Is it me or you? Not oh, me. Please. Okay. Really? Great. All the stuff you put on me to, you know, soften things up has really worked well. Good. I know the uh, the petty ready. I bought the petty ready. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it softened me up too. But I mean, it was, you know, it was hard for me to get down there and do it. like to work slow right it's not comfortable for people, people right. if you put on a, a coarser grip. one yeah, you can feel a lot of vibration yeah. yep I my dribble. <laughs> yeah i don't like the vibration <laughs> feeling yep. it's terrible yeah and i had to be real careful i didn't hit myself yeah it makes people scared it oh, makes yeah. them tense and yep, yep. it's just not good right on. I had talked to the, the lady on the phone about uh, manicure too, and at the time, my, I have my fingers split like crazy. Like, oh. I get really, oh, yeah. I don't know what I do wrong. If I just don't drink enough water and don't moisturize enough or what. Right. I don't moisturize that, that often, but they split so much that it's just terrible sometimes. <clears throat> yeah, we what do you need... think? I need to just do what I do more, uh, more moisturizing? Yeah, we need yeah. to get some. At night? Well, because of what you do. Yeah, that's it too. It's kerosene and stuff on my hands at work. Yep. And so, the body won't heal dirt into the right. skin. Yeah, so you, you've got to use something that's going to lift out that okay. dirt out Clean of those first. cracks. Yep. Clean them out good. Yep. Yep. I, you know what? I, I'm constantly putting peroxide on them to keep them clean so they don't swell up. At home, I take Q-tips and peroxide in the evening and clean them out if they start to swell up at all. And then put, you know, just uh, Neosporin on them and try to keep them clean at night. But yeah, you're Here I'm using the Meticulous Manicurist Toenail Nippers to trim the toenails. If you're wondering why I don't use toenail clippers, I do have a video for that. So you can look in my video list or search for why I don't use nail clippers.
Do you have kids? No. I was thinking they'd love to go snowmobiling. Yeah, no, I have my niece, my brother's, uh, my brother's daughter. She would love to. Um, it's just uh, if my brother will will get his butt together and uh, get his, you know, his girlfriend and his daughter uh, to go. And I keep keep saying to him, you guys, I've got two small bills. Really, Brand is really messed up with it. It's really scary. My mom's scared to death. Borrowed money from everybody. It's just oh, it's no. too much. You know I mean? we make we make a good a good amount of money, and he's he's borrowing money. It's like I, I talked to him. How can you possibly need to borrow money? I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it either. Yeah. Especially the gambling. I understand the other things, but gambling can do not. Uh -huh. Yeah, he loves the casino too. And sometimes when I call him, if he doesn't answer, I know it's because he's at the stupid casino in Detroit. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, what is down there? Just a smoke-filled, uh, you know, <laughs> casino. This is awful. Mm -hmm. you know? I don't know if you like it, but to go in there where people are still smoking and stuff, it's like, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough for me. I can't even breathe around, breathe around it. Nope. Yeah. I used to smoke years ago, and when you quit, and then you realize, you know, afterwards that being around it is so much worse than just actually smoking. Yep. You know. You gotta tell me where you're ticklish at. No, so. <laughs> no, 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 not at all right now. You're doing a great job. Yeah, the, uh, it's using my feet. My feet are usually really ticklish. You're doing a great touch. Is that an apricot scrub or something like that? It's so a scrub. tangerine sea yeah, salt. Mm -hmm. What does that do? Soften up? Yeah, it moisturizes all of the mm -hmm. dry areas and helps too. pull off some of the yeah. skin. go back in okay. the water. I'm going to switch towels. Yeah, I have three dogs. Awesome. What kind? Uh, the oldest is a mix between a Jack Russell Terrier and a Pitbull. Right on. Mm -hmm. The middle one is a Labradoodle, mini uh -huh. a miniature Labradoodle. Oh, that's cool. And the youngest is a mix between a Lab and a Chihuahua. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Yeah. Lab and a Chihuahua. Huh. Yep. Did you do uh, um, no, but I'm going to yeah. because the person that we <laughs> got her from yeah. told us that was her Sorry. breed, and he's like, it mm. is not. But and every single time I tell the story, right, right. he's like, no, that's Sorry. not what she is. We don't know what she is. So I said, I'm gonna get her <laughs> right. DNA testing yeah, right. just so I can tell you to shush it. Right, I had that done. Yeah, mine are. Uh, my baby is a, a pit bull. He's a, a full-fledged pit bull. He's great. He's just um, a blue, uh, blue pit bull, blue nose pit bull. And um, and my uh, my first uh, first dog. He's about six or seven now. He's a, a boxer pit bull mix. Oh, nice. Yeah, I just I just love you can rest your taking the do it. Rest it. Hi, Joe. Oh, just rest it. Okay, yep. Yeah, down. I love them. They're great dogs. Alright, bend your knee and okay, put yeah, it right there. That's okay. It's just, you know, they changed their opinion. My mom was afraid. You know, in the beginning, she said, do you want that kind of dog around? Mom, um, <laughs> you, you know just as well as I do that it's going to be all about how I bring the dog up. That's you know, right. You get, them, you get them from when they're, you know, eight weeks old and you just love them to death. And, you know, teach them right. They look good. That's great. He's a powerful dog, no doubt, but he's not mean at all. We take him everywhere. We take him to pet stores and the dog parks. And <coughs> everybody loves him. But the blue, I don't know if you know about the blue uh, pit bulls, they have uh, 
skin is just like crazy. Oh. Yeah, the poor guy, he gets irritated underneath so bad. He gets red underneath his skin, he gets so sore, and his toes get red. And, yeah, I have to give him lotions and stuff. We've got all kinds of special stuff for him. So I have to do all kinds of stuff to him. Mooses and lotions. But it seems to work. We go to the uh, Blue Pearl vet in Crampton Hills there and we get the good stuff for him. My guy won't let me clean out his ears. Oh yeah, I know. They, they, he hates that, but we have to do that. We have to do that because the ears get infected quick. Mm -hmm. Is he the same way? Yeah. Yes, and he won't yep. let me near his ears. Yeah, and I, he's it. like going deaf. And I don't oh. think he's really going deaf. I think that they just need to be cleaned out. out. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yep. But he, if you he's even if you even say the word ears, yeah. Boom, he's gone. he'll go. Yeah, he's <laughs> I'm like, oh, my gosh. Oh, my yeah, I know. I mine the same way. They're so him. sensitive. Yeah, I know. Mine the same way. My girlfriend gives him too much. She lets, she just lets him get away with too much. And, you know, when it was just me, when I was just bringing up my first dog, um, it, we had a real good, um, you know, dog dog owner relationship. And now she, ever since I've been with her, she just loves him so much that, you know, she spoils him Spoiling so much. Him. Yeah, and they just kind of take over. But I love it. You know, I mean, I never used to feed him from my hand at all. And now we started doing that, and it's just kind of. You know, it used to be you could sit down to eat dinner and my dog would just lay on the sofa and wouldn't even look at me. Right. And now, you know, she's fed him from hand so many times that, um, you know, treats and stuff that, boom, as soon as the food comes out, he's sitting there staring at us. Yeah, he's like, like, oh, no, I know what yeah. that tastes like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember. Get, get over there, go lay down. She's welcome. Well, <laughs> it's cool. I love it. Another thing my brother does that makes me crazy. He doesn't take care of his dog well. He's got a big Rottweiler, and it's a beautiful dog, but he doesn't, he doesn't clean up the yard. He doesn't clean mm. up. He doesn't get the dog's nails cut. The dog's nails are getting crazy. I mean, I'm better with my nails than I guess with my own nails, but you know, my dog's nails are cut and they're perfect. And you know, because I can't, I don't want them to be in pain. You know, and you can hear mm -hmm. it on the hardwood floors. They click, click, click. Yep. You know, and my brother just does it. I'm like, Jason, look at the nails. He's like, what? He's not in pain. I'm like, you don't understand. The nail is way too long. And like anytime he would go to the vet for any issues, the vet would always clip the nails and tell him, you have to bring this dog in for nail clipping. If you're not going to take him somewhere else, bring him to us. Yeah. If you can't get it done, we'll do it. We'll sedate him and do it. And uh, he just doesn't see it, man. He doesn't see the importance of it. You got to understand. Yep. He doesn't. I come back to his dog. I want to get the dog and take it myself. <laughs> How old is the dog? Yeah. He's had three Rottweilers now. And they're good dogs, or he brings them up, you know, nice, they're not mean or anything, but he meals and things. This chair has to be all plumbed and everything right here, right? Mm -hmm. it goes right in out here. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Did your massage go off? Yeah. You can turn it back on okay. if you want. There's oh, a yeah. remote right okay. up in the pocket. Okay. Right there. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> so press power. Here, I'll just do it. Yeah. How long does it go for? Thirty minutes, yeah.
it might be kind of hard to distinguish between the a symmetrical color underneath the nail plate if you're if you don't know what to look for but there's some sock fuzz under here and I can tell from the little bit of discoloration there on the free edge and I just grabbed that little piece there and I can see a little bit more I'm just trying to work to get that out because if this stays embedded down in the sidewall it can make the skin sore Really big calluses on the tips of your toes. You know it, you know it. Everywhere. I wonder if I should have a bigger shoe. Probably. Even, even bigger than yeah, I'm a 13 um, H. Is, they're so wide, it's ridiculous. And uh, like a four year and H, depending on what company. And I'm wondering if I should if I need to go to a 14. Yeah, I probably would. Yeah. I bought so many different shoes. If you know the shoes I have at home, I'm like, that one, <laughs> that one would be big enough to go. How tall are you? 6'5. Yeah. yeah, you're tall. Yeah. It's contest time, and we have a goal, and we need your help. We need for you guys to click the share arrow and use the hashtag pedicure craze in a social media post so more people can find our channel. And our goal is to really help as many people as we can. And I would love for more people to be able to find us with well, your yeah, help. Like and with just a couple of clicks from you, that. we could do well, that. Everyone who enters by using the hashtag pedicure craze will be entered into a drawing to win a $200 gift certificate to my online store when we hit our 500,000 subscriber goal. Yeah, well, you're going to need to use the nail mycosis um, to get rid of this nail fungus out of your toes. And after that, okay. the, your toes will be in such better shape. Okay, awesome. I didn't know if they had any, any fungus or, or not. You know, I didn't know. But the callus, I, I, I scrubbed the callus on the side of my big toe before, and I uh -huh. really scrubbed at it, and boom, it come right back. I knew I needed help. Well, I can help you. I know you can. And I'm coming back too. Uh -huh. say they found you from the YouTube videos? Yeah. Yeah. You just never, I never realized how many people were out there that needed help with their feet. Oh man, it's a lot. You know, a, a good friend of mine, I told my buddy I was coming to see, I was coming to get, you know, some help with my toes. He's like, really, where are you going? <laughs> so maybe I'll send them to you. He's tall like me too, he's got big feet too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we ride motorcycles together in the summertime. And, uh, I bet you when I tell them, I show them how good these are, they show them how
I'll tell you who needs to come and see me is Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, for sure. I saw a picture of his toe when he was getting a pedicure. I don't know where I saw it. Uh huh. Online someplace. Uh huh. And I was like, oh my gosh, is I can. Bad? I can get rid of that. Really? There's no Just reason. No reason for him to be walking around like right. that. Wow. Yeah, people just don't get it. You know, I don't think I've had a video where I get the towel too close and it gets caught up in the tip of the electric file, but this happens yeah. when you wear gloves too, and that's another reason Every, why I don't wear gloves. Yep, yep, you start dragging it and your legs hurt and everything. I think it hurt my back even before. I think it's it added to my back because of the way I people to do it and then they don't want to do it. It's tough. It doesn't sound like any fun. It's not fun. Right. My job is way more you, fun. You know, you get the, you get the, you get the, you accomplish this and you help people. It's great. Right. And I would like to do what you do too. I like art and fun. Like that. Yeah. I could get into it. I love cleaning up old things. I like cleaning up old engines and things like that. Bringing, bringing things back to life. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you're doing to me. Yep. <laughs> My left foot has never been the problem as much as my right. My right, I'm right-handed. This one's always been a little bit bigger. I bet you I'm gonna fit in my shoes so much better. You know, yeah. Because I do, even if I would, would you know, try to do my best on them. job on the nails and everything and she's got you know, beautiful little toes and everything and you know she'd say why don't you just go there and get your and tell them you know you know let's go there and see what they can do for you and I was like I really don't want them I'm kind of afraid of what they do to me I don't know you know first of all what they would do to me and um, you know, it took for me I had to see what you could do to believe it right I, I didn't know I didn't, I didn't want to walk in there and be embarrassed for one thing and, you know, once I saw what you can do I was like that's where I'm gonna go Here to do this too? Yes, you, we yeah. have. Um, You're the best, aren't you? Sarah. They all do it right here? Mm hmm. Yeah, this, yeah, this room goes all That's day long. Mm -hmm. Cool. We, we polish them in here, yeah. Done yet. Oh, they I need know. to soak again. The first time we're here in a minute. This is a deep thing, right? <laughs> mm -hmm.
All right, you can put that foot back in the water. Okay. Okay. Let's go flat first. Second soak always reveals so much more skin that needs to come off. The excess calluses that are on the tips of his toes indicate to me that he's just pretty hard on the tips of his toes when he walks, but the little black spots in his nails are called splinter hemorrhages. They can sometimes indicate um, a health problem that someone might be having but because he is so hard on his toes, that's probably why that they are there. If they didn't clear up after he gets a bigger pair of shoes, or doesn't have calluses on the tips of his toes, and still had splinter hemorrhages, I would recommend that he go see his doctor and ask them about that. Removing the excess buildup skin on the nail plate is really important in order to get rid of the nail fungus in his toenails because the nail mycosis solution needs to penetrate into the nail plate and if it's covered in a lot of excess skin, it's only going to penetrate into the skin and not into the nail plate.
if you're wondering what color of nail polish I'm wearing on my nails today, it's from my line, the Meticulous Manicurist Nail Lacquer, and it is called Boss Lady Burgundy. It's going to be like, where have you been? Mm -hmm. You smell mm -hmm. fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're just like your dog with the ear word. Whenever I say, go to mom's or go see your friend, because my mom has a, a little dog too that, that uh. my dogs love to play with. You know, everybody perks their heads and like, where did you go? Where did you go? <laughs> they start dancing around, ready to go. Nice. Oops, up all that water, all the water would run too. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. So, I've got some buddies that uh, can do construction stuff, so I'm going to see if I can get one of them to do one for me. I'm going to get it to dry up. I've got a nice big yard, it's like an acre and a half and, uh, in the back, and, and just too much water back there. Yeah. Can't have them going out there and get my money, you know? It's too much. Bend your knee, put your foot right there. And then I'll take this one. Straight up. Yeah, straight up.
I just want to clear up a few snarky comments I've had lately. The dropper does not touch his toes or his skin. What's your dog's name? Tuco and Miko. Aww. Yeah, they, they kind of regret naming the other one Miko because it's so close. You know, uh, it's so close that half the time I call them, I call them the wrong thing all the time. Aww. You know, but they're, they're, they're the best. Uh, Tuco I got from uh, an old Clint Eastman movie. He was one of the bad guys in uh, The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. Oh, yeah? You know, yeah. Yeah, he was uh, the bad guy in that movie, and uh, that was my first dog's name. And uh, the second one, uh, I just let my girlfriend play and she came up with Nico. And, uh, well, I always call the wrong thing. It just comes <laughs> out wrong all the time. We don't know why. Do yours have special names? <sighs> my oldest's name is Buddy, mm -hmm. and he came with that name because it was my parents' dog, okay. yeah. and That's... we adopted him from them. Gotcha. That makes sense. <laughs> And the second one's name is Lacey, mm -hmm. and it was just like a family decision. Uh -huh. Everybody threw in what they liked best, and then Lacey. we voted, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the youngest is Maya, because mm -hmm. we adopted her from Mexico. Uh-huh. <laughs> and Grand Cuban. Yeah. yeah. So. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, My brother's had some interesting yeah. names on his dogs. His first one was uh, Mace. I never knew why, except he said that there was a friend of his, his name was Maceosi, was his last name, and he came up with Mix. Wow. I thought it was an interesting name. And then the other, um, the second one, what was it? Oh, Bodhi. It was Bodhi. Hmm. And that was from a movie that was, um, um, the, uh, what was it? Who's the guy that plays A in? John Wayne movie? No, 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 no. It's from uh, John Wick. Who's the guy in John Wick? Um, Keanu, Keanu Reeves. Reeves. Yeah, Keanu Reeves. It was, a movie, it was a movie that he was in, Point Break. Oh, okay. Point Break, there was a guy there named Bodie. And then he oh, was, yeah. Uh, Bodie, uh, something like that. Yeah. But uh, he got that name from that one. And then his newest one is, is uh, Tyson, from Mike Tyson. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But they've been, they've been pretty, I thought, pretty interesting names he's come up with. My mom has, um, she had Smokey, that was what, that was our, our, our first dog when we were kids. It was a Norwegian elk hound, and man, those dogs have a lot of hair. Oh, they're, yeah. They're like, uh, uh, you know, like uh, Siberian Huskies, that, that undercoat is so thick, it just constantly comes off, you know. And um, so that was Smokey, he was gray, and her newest, uh, her new one is, um, my niece named it, what is it? Okay. Shiloh. Yep. Oh, nice. Shiloh. Yeah, Shiloh. That's a pretty good name. Mm -hmm. Thank you. He's like a hunting dog, kind of. He, he, he looks strange. He's short and low to the ground. Man, is he strong and fast. Is he? Mm hmm. How do you feel? Great. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to visit my channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time.